for the past two years, it's been an incredible, incredibly fast and, and ima amazing career. Uh, we count uh, finalists in some major exhibitions in the country, 32 exhibitions, we counted them this morning, three international ones, wine in Paris next year, he just signed a contract with the Paris agent, uh, two books, the second book is going to be distributed nationally by Bennett. How does it feel to capture your painting? <laughs> Well, like the first time when I got very angry, I was about to throw a painting away. That white one right here with the houses. And then I thought maybe a bit of do blue behind for the sky and black or dark blue for the ocean. And then put white over it if the family's going to like that white. Your Neve practice is particularly important because of the condition that the medical world has attached to him and and that label um, inherently has in it that he may have difficulty communicating with other people with um, understanding or interpreting or expressing emotions in a particular way and that is at a verbal level in a language level and, um, and when we look at his paintings how we could connect to his paintings is amazing you know how many people have already bought his work not just in one country, but multiple countries. Well, when I do it, I think, am I going to sell this one? Is it going to win a competition? So, quite early on, we, st we started to see that he saw the world quite differently, and his perception of the world outside of him was something different to what we or his siblings often perceive. With his words, Yaniv is a very black or white person. Um, he's very either or, yes or no, um, with very little shades of grade in between. But with his art, he's very colourful. And um, you, you can see it. It's, it's a way for him to express something that he just can't do with language. When he was growing up, he used to have kind of trouble showing excitement. So he went through a lot of different phases um, of showing excitement, like, one of the first ones was jumping on his knees. Mm. You remember that? Mm -hmm. He would just get excited and just jump on his knees. Yeah, he would hurt himself in yeah. order to show excitement. And then another one was banging on the chest yeah. and then mum told him, clap your hands instead. So he clapped his hands. But I think this is kind of maybe a development of that, you know. Maybe that's how I see it anyway. His art is kind of him expressing himself in a less overt way. I'm his mother, of course what he does is great. <laughs> to have other people, um, you know, judges of competition that said, yes, this is, it, it is to be commended. It's wonderful because it just say, yeah, yeah, it's a voice that says, carry on, carry on. It's, sometimes it's hard and sometimes you have to work at it more than you think because I have really pretty much have to be his uh, informal manager and I don't know anything about managing artists. And I'm always believing I'm going to get what I want. You know, I'm one of those people in the world, whatever they're called, who always believes they're going to get what they want. And that's good.